What's going on guys, my name is Proto. Today we got Dark Souls 3. This will be my first time playing it. I haven't played this game since I was a kid. Uh, it was a long time ago since the last time I played this game. But we're gonna be playing this and uh, I'm gonna be seeing if it's any harder than Elden Ring, to be honest, since we played Elden Ring. So let's get into it. So first, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna end up going with a night class in this, just cause I want a nice starting, I want a nice starting health and strength build you know to kind of like start off plus i i don't know like how the scaling and everything in this it's been a long time since i've played this game so i i think the knight was probably the best uh class to go for but we start off here and we go and kill our first enemy get our our uh magic flask if you will um we make it over here uh kill the rest of these guys this dude's got a fucking fire crossbow um you'll see that i have my shield out the first go round, but i i don't use it later but i go up to this thing and it's it literally tells me to turn back and at that point i like i was like nah i'm not taking my chances i don't know how much harder this is than elden ring but i'm not taking any chances so we make it to our very first bonfire here um in the in the little fucking whatever it's called i don't even know it's a cemetery a grave site it, fucking dilapidated i don't even know what it is anyway we make it down there we kill some of these dudes um you know some scrubs kind of seeing how the mechanics are and how they differ between elden ring and whatnot since it's been a very long time but we make it down and we get to the first boss the very very first boss um this was not fun, but it was fun. Like, you know, it, it wasn't fun, but it, it was fun. Um, my very first attempt went, went okay. Um, it went better than I thought it would. Getting down his movements and trying to figure out how this guy like, operates and everything. It took a little bit, but I, I honestly was kind of surprised at how much damage I was doing. I was doing way more damage than I initially thought I was going to do. And then he fucking pulls out literally death incarnate out of absolutely nowhere starts jumping up and down and everything literally out of fucking nowhere I, I was not expecting this and I did not remember this from the last time I played but that was the very first attempt uh, second attempt went okay it went it went better than the last attempt I'd say I got some of his movements down so you see I'm dodging a lot of those uh, lunging attacks and everything but I still get whacked and I mean you notice I'm not really even using my shield but again, with the fucking death hell incarnate, he pulls out his berserk mode, and um, I get him down to like a sliver of health, and I also have a slither of health, but I have no essence flasks, so I'm trying my best to like dodge everything, and then boom, he catches me. He roll catches me right How? Attempt, I got his ass down to the same as I did the second attempt, and then I finally fucking got his ass. I mean, it took me, uh, man. Whew. It took me more attempts than I thought it would, but first boss down. So we light our bonfire, and we, you know, chill out for a little bit, catch our fucking breath, because, whew, then we make it on to the next area. It's more cemetery-esque place. Um, I'm not really familiar with the names at all. I'll put the names up, but... We we'll make it down. This is where we finally get to our hub area in Dark Souls 3, which is the uh, Firelink Shrine. We talk to our maiden. Our This is basically our maiden from Elden Ring. But uh, we talk to her, and in this game, it's kind of similar to... Well, it's not really similar to anything, because it's kind of only in Dark Souls. But um, you kind of only level up at these hub areas, which is a little different, because you can level up anywhere in Elden Ring. There is a hub area, but you can level up anywhere. So this was a little different. Um, so I level up my guy, you know, get him to a nice sturdy level, talk to the blacksmith, and uh, see if I can, you know, upgrade my weapons at all. But nah. So we go on, open this door, going along, and we're now at the high wall of Lothric. So this place was more trouble than it was worth um i had to go back and forth between both sides of like the left and the right side so many times it was not even funny i mean 
there you see my souls. I've died so many times on these fucking left or right sides. It's not even funny. And I was really trying to figure out, like, where the fuck was I supposed to go. But, um, kill these dog demon hellhound guys here, you know. After, like, four hours of me trying to figure out where I was supposed to go, I finally figured out you're supposed to, like, go down this dungeon area and it'll lead you, uh, to where this dragon is. Where you, like, right up there where you can, uh, walk up these stairs. And he fucking lights everything on fire, destroying and killing everything. Really, really helpful and really, really annoying at the same time. Like, it's super helpful because you don't really have to worry about anything and he'll kill it all for you. But at the same time, you kind of have to, like, time it and, you know, go run and fucking loot whatever it is he burnt up and run back, you know. So it, it, it it's kind of a, a blessing and a curse at the same time. So And we make it down to this area where that, uh that mini boss guy is with the giant ass fucking spear lance or whatever it is it could be a lance a spear a halberd i have no idea what it is look at that guy absolutely outrageous heavy as fuck run past his ass no one's fighting him not today at all i make it down to the other side of the castle there's this long path that you can go in and this is where you would fight one of the two bosses of this area very first playthrough, my very first go of this dude, I I completely thought this was going to be the the like the end of this game. I thought this was going to be it. Yeah, this was going to be the guy to make me put this game away for good. And to be completely honest, I completely smoked him, blazed right through him. You'll see right here, like, I literally blazed right through this guy, and I had one flask left. I was not expecting how easy this was. I mean, his ass is wide open, and if you just sit there and just smack it, smack it, smack it, I mean, he literally runs himself into the wall and has terrible, like, he, he can't hit you. He barely hits you. All you gotta do is just run to the side of him, not get frostbitten, and whack him in his literal fucking ass. He's what do you mean by that? He spread eagle, literally letting you whack him. So, this first boss was probably the easiest boss that I've ever faced in my entire time playing Elden Ring or Dark Souls. This guy was way too easy for my liking, and at that point, I thought something was up. So I go and light the bonfire, and you know finish that ordeal get my ember back and everything we go to the other side where we fight the second boss now this boss was absolutely outrageously hard i think this 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 footage is probably attempt like number five or six i would say probably like i want to say six on the safe side but yeah this this boss was outrageously hard i mean this was what I was expecting from the first guy. I was expecting something of this magnitude, like this, you know, this kind of Dark Souls boss and everything. And, um, it, like, I mean, it, I wasn't disappointed because, I mean, a boss is a boss. I smoked him, but this was what I was expecting. And when I finally was fighting this guy, yeah, he was, he was kicking my ass bad. I had to figure out, like, how to maneuver with this extra arm this guy gets and how to like maneuver with this fucking nut sacks that he's got. I'm gonna come. And the, the acid, like every time he does this jumping attack, the acid falls out of his ass and you can't go near him because it'll burn you. But I mean, this guy was absolutely outrageously hard. I was not expecting, I, I was not expecting this to be this hard at all. We finally got him though, but man oh man, was this an ordeal. If you guys enjoyed the video, you guys stay this long. Make sure you guys leave a like. Comment suggestions down below. You know the dealio. My name's Proto, and I'll catch you on the next video.